So I'm here with Grant Heiser. He's a part of a Baseball Northwest team uh, here in Arizona for the Arizona Fall Classic. And, and Grant, you know, this whole event is designed to uh, let players like yourself kind of really promote themselves, show off. And So what are some things you're hoping to uh, demonstrate and really kind of show the coaches in this area? Um, definitely probably arm strength because that's what I feel like my biggest tool is. And then um, obviously, like, uh, I can't really show speed right now because my hamstring, but, um, like, uh, hitting for contact, uh, situational hitting, and then just being a, like a, a team player, you know. I mean, even at these showcase events, you can show that uh, that you're part of the team, that you, you're there for your teammates. You know, you mentioned your hamstring, you tweaked it, but yet, you know, even in this game, you've had, you know, three hits and kind of hobbled out a triple, but, uh, you know, focusing on, on that contact aspect of it, um, is that something, even though you're, you're injured, does it kind of help you to refocus on what you're doing at the moment? Yeah, um, I don't know, I just kind of, like, when I get in the box, I'm just trying to put barrel to the ball, and that's really my biggest priority, like, I don't, I'm not worried about, like, doubles or triples, I'm just trying to get on base, and just provide for the team. And then, you know, even though you're, you know, at this showcase for a lot of, you know, four-year schools, D1 schools, uh, you've already have a, a commitment into Tacoma Community College, which uh, is one of the powerhouse programs of, of the NWAC. Uh, so kind of what led you to choose Tacoma and, uh, you know, what just really led you to that team? Well, Tacoma was coming out to all my events. Like, they were following me really um, vigorously, and they were just, like, always there for me. And I'd, like, turn around in a game, and I'd see a TCC scout or Ryan or or anybody there, Coach Hinkle, and they were all just, like, there for me, I guess. They really wanted me. They expressed that, and so I just I picked there. You know, and, and to make it to that level, you know, the NWAC is – you know, pretty competitive league. You know, you don't just get there by luck, not by chance. It takes a lot of time and effort, and and people pushing you as well. Who in your life's been that inspiration, that motivating factor to get you to where you are? Definitely my stepdad. He's basically my real dad. Um, he's always telling me like, work for what you want, and uh, be prepared. Just like all the morals that I take with me today. Yeah. And then, you know, for a lot of young players, you know, you watch baseball growing up and you see major leaguers and, uh, you know, sometimes you'll see a player and be like, I, I love their attitude, love their style. Is there a player you've, you know, grown up watching and enjoy watching or even mimic to some extent? Um, I'm not just like one sole player guy. I'd have to say, like, I'm a big Mariner fan, so I grew up watching, like, like Ken Griffey, like, videos on YouTube or, like, The Bone. Like, I have a signed bat in my room and, you know, just all the, like, like from the past and now to the present, like Cano and Nelson Cruz and all those guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's uh, definitely some history with the Mariners. Uh, yeah. I know I did the Buner Buzz Cut night back when I was in high school. Yeah. Um, but here you are. You know, you're, you're getting ready to go into your senior year of of uh, school in baseball. Uh, what things do you hope to accomplish as a team and then as an individual uh, for your senior year? Um, as a team, I just want to go as far as we can. You know, it's my last year, senior year. I want to go out with a bang. And uh, I want to, like, have good, I don't know, team camaraderie and just go as far as we can. Individually, I just want to be, like, the best player I can be, um, be as hardworking as I can, show up to everything, just, yeah, be a team guy. And then... You know, also, you're out here playing, you know, you always see a lot of kids out around the ball fields like that, and, and all the kids, you know, may want to follow a path like yours to uh, playing summer ball and going to play college. What advice do you have for those kids as they're working and trying to uh, make it to that next level? I'd have to say, no matter who's watching you, always play at your best and your hardest, because it could be the last day you play baseball, and you never know what eyes are on you or what scouts are in the stands, so just play as hard as you can. And shake off the shake off the bad and focus on the good. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.